Hi, welcome to this latest episode of Lightboard Lessons, and today we're going to reshoot a previous video on the Global Traffic Manager, which is now Big IP DNS. And so, let's um, before we get into all the load balancing algorithms, which we'll uh, consider for uh, future videos, we want to go over just the the basics of how the uh, Big IP DNS and the um, Local Traffic Manager interact. And so, when you have Let's see clients out here in the, in the internet. And you come in to, let's say, a data center. And then, say, we have another data center over here. We'll call that data center two. And of course, come that way from the cloud. In any particular data center, you have your local traffic manager devices um, in either uh, an HA pair or you have a device uh, cluster where you have many active in a standby or you know whatever your um, scenario is. And so you have your infrastructure layer here. You probably have some routers and firewalls in here. And, uh, and so we'll have your LTMs. And so those connect down through infrastructure to your web farms. And so um, you know, that's sideways. So, uh, you know, any number of, of web farms in here and, and say this is hundreds of servers or, or whatever. And so on the front side of these LTMs, you have virtual servers. So you say one, V1, V2, and then that's mirrored over here on this uh, standby. Or maybe you have a, a completely different business unit that maybe has an LTM over here. And uh, maybe that's in a sync group with this LTM in the middle, but you have another V3 and V4. Okay, and so all these different virtual servers uh, exist for any number of applications that sit here in the back end. And um, over here in this other data center would be hopefully at least a, uh, a highly available experience for those same apps. So in this case, we have, say we have LTM, and then we have that other LTM for a different business unit, and just assume this one also is an HA. And then you have other virtual servers over here. We'll call this V5 and V6, and then V7 and V8. Okay. And so, when it comes to bringing these clients to these particular uh, virtual servers, whether it's IP or I, uh, IP v, uh, v4 or v6, that's where DNS comes into play. And so, uh, traditionally, before the world of load balancing, and even with uh, you know some basic load balancing, you can serve those records with one or more addresses. And so, in the old days, you would say, "I have uh, that that service is available on four." addresses, so I'm going to go ahead and, and send all four addresses out to the client. That's still possible, and then the client's just going to pick one of those um, uh, from the, uh, the query that they receive. And of course, it'll cache it for however long your TTL is. When that TTL expires, it'll go out to the LDNS servers that sit out here in the cloud. So you have LDNS times, you know, however many LDNS servers that uh, these clients um, have access to, and that's dependent on their infrastructure um, that from their provider. And then those LDNS servers will cache as well for as long as these records tell it to cache. And, and then when that cache expires, it's going to come out and it's going to look for an address. And that's where, uh, on our end, the GTM comes into play. And so if we extend this data center, um, I'm sorry, it's an old habit, GTM. Actually, F5, uh, big IP DNS. So we'll just put the DNS in there over here in this data center as well. And in the GTM, I'm sorry, the F5 D big IP DNS will respond um, to a particular query. So say this client is looking up uh, Dev Central f5.com and so they're they're asking that question 
And so they're going to ask that of their own local cache. If it doesn't have it, it will come to the LDNS. And if the LDNS doesn't have it, then it will, based upon how we uh, set up the start of authority for F5.com, it will uh, eventually make its way to our F5DNS device. And in here, this is where the configuration, um, like for your local traffic managers, you have your, your pool, uh, your pool member, your virtual server. The DNS side, it starts with your server. Um, and so let me, um, actually, we'll start with data center. And the data center you would define here. And then the server would actually be this LTM. You can use third-party devices as well, but we'll stick with, with F5. And so your server would be one of these LTMs. And then you have virtual servers from those servers that will then be either discovered or manually added um, to the configuration for GTM. And then that becomes the construct for a pool. So just like at the LTM level where you have individual services as pool members, here you have a virtual server as the service in a pool. And so if we have, say we have one particular app and all four of these virtual servers are in that particular app, we can say that we'll put these virtual servers in that pool. And then v1, v2, v5, and v6. And so this would be, uh, let's call that pool one. And then pool one would be part of a wide IP, which we would define. Uh, it could be a wild card. You don't have to put devcentral.f5.com. But this wide IP would be listening, uh, just like a, a virtual server is listening for um, a particular IP port combination. Um, the GTM listener is, the F5 DNS uh, listener is listening for uh, this FQDN. And so when it receives that, there will be potentially a LB decision here. So if I had more pools, say that in this particular one, I have a pool two, a pool one, and a pool three, at this level, it's going to make a, a LB decision for which pool I want to, of, of virtual servers I want to send it to. And then within the pool, uh, there's also an LB decision that is going to be made here. And so it's a tiered decision, whereas on, on LTM, it is just a, a singular decision at the pool level. With GTM, um, it is the LB decision um, at the wide IP level and then the LB decision at the pool level. And so, you know, that's the, the basics before we get into the LB decisions themselves on, on the tiering of how those decisions are made and, and how the overall ar architecture um, of the infrastructure works when it comes to global traffic management. And so hopefully this has been helpful and we are gonna get into uh, the um, load balancing algorithms uh, in our next uh, set of, of videos. Thanks a lot and we'll see you out there in the community.